Tesla may have a pleasant surprise by the end of the year. What is that surprise? CEO Elon Musk is confident of a 50% growth in vehicle production in 2022 compared with a year ago. But Tesla for that surprise needs to get Giga Berlin and Giga Texas up and running. Actually, they are running, but they need to ramp up the production. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. On April 21, Tesla posted stronger than expected first quarter profits, record sales, and a bullish near-term outlook that defied Wall Street's forecasts. This all comes at a time when many companies, including Tesla, are being hit by inflation, raw material prices, and logistics costs. Now, look what's happening in other industries as well. For example, uh, my son writes uh, uh, Toyota coverage. He does Toyota coverage at torquenews.com. And looks like for RAV4 hybrid, you need to wait for months until your vehicle is available. Nevertheless, Tesla CEO Elon Musk told analysts during the company's earnings call that he felt good about the future for Tesla. Of course, you have two new Giga factories, Giga Berlin, Giga Texas, and uh, possibly by the end of the year, I think Tesla may announce a new Giga factory. Anyway, Elon Musk said we remain confident of a 50% growth in vehicle production in 2022 versus 2021. Musk said according to a transcript of the call. Here's what he said. He said, I think we actually have a reasonable shot at a 60% increase over last year. Let's see. Yes, let's see how it goes. It, I think well, Giga Berlin, I have reported that Giga Berlin is going to have somewhere between 30,000 uh, 30, to 50,000 vehicles by the end of the year. That's not very much. Giga Berlin needs to ramp up production. And in my previous coverage, I have said why and what Tesla needs at Giga Berlin to ramp up production. Tesla at least needs to hire several thousand more people there because with 3,500 or 4,000 people, you can't build 300,000 cars. But Tesla is actively hiring at Giga Berlin and Giga Texas seems to be going well as well. The world's richest man Elon Musk also said that the vehicle production in the second quarter will most likely be similar to the first quarter or perhaps slightly lower. But it's also possible we may pull a rabbit out of the hat and be slightly higher, Musk said. But then quarter three and quarter four will be substantially higher. So it seems like that where um, we'll be able to produce over one and a half million cars this year. That's my best guess, Elon said. Chief Financial Officer Zach Kirkhorn noted that higher pricing continues to positively actually continues to positively impact our financials as we make progress delivering cars in our growing backlog. Now, Kirkhorn, who described the quarter as challenging but extremely successful, told analysts that delivery wait times for most Tesla vehicles are quite long. Now, when it says higher pricing, many of you may not understand whether higher pricing of materials or higher pricing of cars because the material cost has gone up and car prices have gone up as well. Those cars delivered in quarter one generally carried pricing set in prior quarters and at levels lower than cars being ordered today, he said. Our per unit vehicle costs increased as well. Inflation, raw material prices, expedite and logistics costs continue to impact our cost structures. Musk chimed in explaining that prices of vehicles ordered now are really anticipating supplier and logistics cost growth that we're aware of and believe will happen over the next 12 months. Now, uh, so that's why we have the price increases today because a car order today will arrive in some cases a year from now, he said. So we have a very long list. 
That's where things are going, friends. Uh, Musk said that Shanghai facility is coming back with a vengeance. He said, so I think notwithstanding new issues that arise, I think we will see a record output per week from Giga Shanghai this quarter, albeit we are missing a couple of weeks. Musk has been a quite a role lately. On April 7th, he inaugurated his new factory in Giga Factory, Austin. So what do you think, friends? Let me know. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Let's move on to our next Tesla story. Tesla CEO Elon Musk wants to sell insurance with Tesla, but Warren Buffett advises against it. Musk announces Tesla's entry into the auto insurance industry against Warren Buffett's advice. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. Elon Musk announced last week that Tesla will soon enter the auto insurance industry. Warren Buffett, whose Berkshire Hathaway Group also owns insurance company Geico, previously expressed serious doubts about Tesla and other automakers' ability to gain a foothold in the industry and turn a profit. Some automakers have expressed their interest to themselves enter the automotive insurance industry. And this is where Warren Buffett's advice uh, against it comes into the foray. Recently, Tesla began providing automotive insurance to customers in Oregon, Colorado, and Virginia. The electric car maker plans to offer insurance to 80% of its U.S. customers by the end of this year, the company said in its first quarter results. Of course, if you are such an important brand, you are well known with your customers, you have a huge following on customers, why not own your brand product? And you probably can do it a little bit cheaper because you know better your customers and who are at more risk or who are not more risk. Now, Tesla wants to use driver data. That's why I said you have more information about your customer. Elon Musk explains that understanding how their driving habits affect potential insurance costs can lead to safer driving and lower premiums. Lower premiums because Tesla wants to use the data that it has about its drivers. Tesla can also use vehicle data to fix damage quickly and organize same-day repairs. This ensures a better customer experience than traditional auto insurance, he said. Tesla can also analyze accident data to find out how accidents are caused and then reduce the risk of repeat damage by optimizing vehicle design or software, Elon Musk said. Buffett downplayed Geico's threat from Tesla's insurance ambitions during the 2019 Berkshire annual meeting. An automaker can fail in the insurance business just as an insurance company can fail in the manufacture of cars, Buffett said. He added that he is much more worried about other competitors than Tesla. It's not an easy deal at all, Buffett said. I wouldn't bet that any company in the automotive industry will be exceptionally successful in any way, he said. He also said, I don't think they're going to make money in the insurance business, he said, referring to automakers. He acknowledged that vehicle data is valuable, but doubted that telematics will give automakers an advantage over incumbent insurance companies as it is already widespread. Now, expert is skeptical about Elon Musk's plan. Christopher Blumstrand, president of Semper Augustus Investments and a close supporter of Buffett and Berkshire, explains on Twitter why he is skeptical about Tesla's insurance business. The fund manager doubts that Tesla has the excess capital necessary to take out insurance on a significant scale. He added that running and growing an insurance business and repairing damage costs a lot of money and Tesla cars will be more expensive to repair than conventional cars because of their complexity. And before I end this report, please tell me if you are a Tesla owner, would you rather buy Tesla insurance if the price was right? If you're not a Tesla owner and if the price was right, would you switch from your current insurance to Tesla? Bloomstein also noted that the auto insurance industry is highly competitive, that individual market participants have 
tight margins and that regulators will lower prices for tesla once the company starts making strong profits let me know friends your thoughts this is armin harian from torquins.com have a wonderful day please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and let's move on to our next story